What's up Deckers? Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'll be showcasing the fastest way to get bad.net on your Steam Deck. So if that's something you guys were interested in, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video. So to get started, you will need to go to your desktop mode, as you see right here. Next, you're going to need to open up a browser. So I have Firefox open here. So next you want to go to Google and search for non-Steam game launches. Next, we're going to search for non-Steam launcher here. And you should see right here this GitHub page. So we're going to come here. We're going to scroll down here. We're going to click this and then we're going to scroll down. And so we're going to download the non Steam Launcher desktop here. So we're going to hit it and it's going to download right here for us. So once that's done, we're going to go to Dolphin right here. We're going to go to downloads here and then you're going to see it here. So next thing you just want to take this here, bring it to your desktop move it here and it's telling me that I'm going to be replacing it. So I'm actually going to cancel it, but I'm going to showcase what this looks like here. So as you can see, this is what it looks like. So you're going to just double click the R2 button here it should open up for you. So these are all the launches. We're going to select bad.net here. We're going to hit OK and we're going to come here and hit OK and then give it time It's going to download now if it doesn't download for you you're going to need something called proton up qt so in order to get that you just going to come here to discover and you're going to search for this proton up qt so all you have to do next is just launch proton up qt here and then you just want to put proton ge here add virgin and then install it and if you have a problem with this loading right away, you're going to need to do that to make it work. So once that's all said and done, you guys are going to see in the background, it did close Steam and open it back up. The cool thing about this is it does bring it to your Steam as well. So again, you don't need to do anything else. So you just go to game mode and it's there for you. So as you can see here, this is about done. It. So we're just going to open it up. And again, if you have any issues here, you might need to just come here, go to properties as well, go to compatibility and make sure that you have Proton GE up here. All right. So once you do so, you'll see that bell.net is here. You can go to your games here, find the game that you want to install and click install and you should be good to go. So we'll go back to game mode and showcase that this actually does work in game mode as well. So let's return back home. All right, so here we are in gaming mode. As you can see, you can see battle.net here. So we're going to open it up. We're going to hit play. And yeah, you should see this should launch you right into it. All right, so as you can see, this is battle.net. Again, you can just pick a game that you want here and you can hit install and it should install it for you. So if you guys were struggling to enter your ID here, credentials, you are going to need a keyboard. I have a Bluetooth wireless keyboard that make access in my, my, my name and password. So again, if you guys get stuck there, just make sure you have a keyboard to do that. All right, fellas, that's all we have for you guys. Let me know if you found this video helpful. Appreciate you guys. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Until next time, peace out.